Hi, ladies and gentlemen, Jordan Bateman from the Independent Contractors and Businesses Association here. And there's a lot of analysis going on about municipal elections right now. And thank you for clicking my link here on the ORCA to see what I have to say about it. Um, you'll read in this piece five things that I'm taking away from the municipal election. But I want to focus on one right now, uh, and that's specifically the state of the center right in the city of Vancouver. Now, obviously, a terribly disappointing loss for the NPA. You know, the center right had this election. Uh, in the palm of their hands and they gave it away because frankly the big egos within the party uh, the backroom the organizers and the candidates could not get along so you had ken sim running he ends up a thousand votes short of defeating uh, candy stewart you have way young you have uh, hector bremner these are people who should have all been working together towards the same goal which was you know restoring a center right uh, mayoralty and leadership team to the city of Vancouver. Instead, we're stuck with Candy Stewart, rabid anti-Trans uh, Mountain Pipeline person, someone who has actually said that he does not believe Vancouver wants to be a port city anymore. This guy is going to be incredibly corrosive towards the uh, economy of Vancouver. Um, but, you know, people voted for him and, uh, and that is the way it goes. But there is some hope for the center-right in Vancouver and it rests on the shoulders of the five NPA women who were elected to city council and you know that is a remarkable achievement for any party, um, especially one that did not carry the mayoralty. And I am hopeful that those five women will find, will really plot a new path for the NPA, a more collaborative, more common sense path um, uh, towards a, a victory in, uh, gosh, 2022? Is that the next municipal election? Wow, it sounds a long ways away. But at the very least that they can come up with, um, you know, a center-right conservative, fiscal conservative type of politics that will resonate in Vancouver. And my hope is that they, you know, clean a little bit of house behind the scenes, that these five women stick together, uh, work hard to make sure that, you know, they are really putting their stamp on the party going into that next election. Uh, frankly, if, um, if I were them, I'd be looking at people like, you know, Katie Merrifield and Natasha Westover, uh, young, talented women who have proven that they can organize campaigns. Uh, making them more involved in the overall team. I'd also be reaching out to Aaron Shum, who uh, lost in her bid to be an independent councillor, but was an MPA Parks Board member before the backroom boys uh, really kind of pushed her out of that uh, as well. There's a lot of hope for the centre-right in, in Vancouver. Trust me, uh, Jeff Meggs, the NDP strategist in Victoria, the former um, Vision Vancouver guru, he is uh, not sleeping great at night seeing them how Vision Vancouver was decimated, seeing how the MPA has these uh, five women on council, and seeing the rise of nine different green uh, candidates, whether it's council, parks board, or school trustees. Um, this is bad news for the NDP uh, in Vancouver. So very interesting to see what will happen. Uh, you can read more about it in my piece on the ORCA, and I just wanna say thanks for reading.